Hey guys, TJ Styles here and welcome to my channel. Uh, this is my first video and I'm excited to be here. Uh, so this video is just going to be about getting to know me, uh, what this channel is going to be about, whether you fancy subscribing to it, following me and just really getting to know me. My name is Tasha, hello, um, also known as well, my channel name TJ Styles. Uh, I'm 19, I'm from the UK and I have a passion for makeup. Um, I'm really creative. I just enjoy having fun, playing with makeup, doing SFX stuff. I also like doing hauls. Uh, I like doing room renovations, which I will do when my channel gets bigger, hopefully, is hoping. I just, I like, thinking outside the box and doing things which will help people like say I don't know you've had a stressed day you can just come home and relax and watch a video I just like sitting down having a chill type of conversation and just having a laugh really like I said so yes um I also thought I could just share with you guys the products I'm kind of into at the moment makeup wise for my skin I'm kind of on the dry side I'm not really oily um my skin can be quite sensitive but not sensitive that much um so i've actually got it here i've bought this um foundation recently the revolution conceal and hydrate this is such a good foundation um it's medium to full coverage so if you kind of like more of a hydrating foundation not a matte finish it's it's not satin uh, it's not really glowy, but it's kind of medium in between. Um, then this will be for you. Uh, I also picked up at Revolution their, one of their new fix, uh, fixing sprays. Um, their Face Fix Moisturising Fixing Mist. Now the packaging on this. It's, I don't know if you can see it, but it's just so psychedelic and holographic -y and Oh, I just love packaging like this. Like, I'm just addicted to holographic stuff. And the bottle's even better. It's just, oh, look at them. But have you seen this? Just, oh, I can't stop staring at it. Um, yeah, so this face mist is £10, I believe. Um, just want to put it out there. This isn't a review. I'm just letting you know what products I like at the moment. I believe it's coconut and avocado extract and it's a hydrating mist not a shimmer glowy mist or mattifying mist it's a hydrating one because like i said before um my skin is more dry um so yes i've only got that recently actually it came a few days ago i think i put it on my instagram um and i'll link that in the description box if you fancy following me on there and that's where i'll kind of post on my stories about ideas of videos uh questions you want to ask me because i'll do a q a uh in one of my next videos so you can get to know more about me what you want to know about me if i haven't briefly covered that already um and yeah i kind of just post my makeup looks when i like experiment i'll be posting to let people know when i've uploaded a video skincare what i'm into at the moment just kind of a bit of everything another thing i'm into is gloss at the moment so i think everyone probably would know what this is just by the i say bougie packaging um it's not the most expensive but it's jeffree star and jeffree star is very extra and i love it <laughs> uh this is his um what one is this wet peach gloss i got this i think maybe a, a month ago two three weeks ago uh and honestly the smell of this oh, it's like childhood in a bottle and it's oh, it's just oh it's so nice also i'm actually wearing them uh my fake lashes false lashes uh are unicorn cosmetics i believe i got that right yep unicorn cosmetics um the ones i'm wearing right now is hot right now uh, and again look at that holographic don't know if you can see here <laughs> no words uh yeah i'm wearing the hot right now ones i would say they're more on the flashy in your face type of ones um 
and I like these with like a bold look. Uh, like on my Instagram, I posted like a sunset one. So I had yellow on the inner corner, which transitioned into orange about here, my middle part of the leg where you do like a halo effect. Uh, and then on my outer corner, I did a winged uh, red. And then I popped these ones on and it just brought it all together. Like they're just in your face, but they're not like drag in your face, but they're quite bold. And if it's like you want to do a statement or something, then uh, they're really good. Uh, and I also bought the not so basic ones. Uh, and I'd say these are more toned down. They don't really look it, but I promise they are. Uh, they're more toned down. They're a bit more fluffy and kind of like foxy ones, I would say. Um, and I believe they are minks, faux minks. Um, but they're reusable, uh, probably 10, 15 wears out of them, which I think is good because, you know, you don't want to spend a lot of money on lashes and you only wear it once. And they're ruined because, I mean, that's not really good as a price point, is it? Um, but no, I believe this was £9.95. Which I personally think is decent. If you, They're decent lashes, honestly. And for £9.95 and you get about 15 wears out of them, for me, that's worth my money. If it's not for you, then that's totally acceptable. You know, everyone's different. I think they're a good buy. And I got these on Beauty Bay. And I believe they've just been restocked. So if you fancy those... <laughs> I've already mentioned a Jeffree Star's product and I'm not I'm not one of those people who have has like have all the palettes and all the lipsticks and everything. I have like three of his lipsticks, the wet peach lip gloss like I just showed you and I also have the conspiracy palette uh and this baby right here. Now Blood Sugar was my first Jeffree Star palette which I got for my birthday last year. Um, and honestly, it's my favorite in the sense if I want, I'm actually wearing it now. Uh, I'm wearing Cake Mix, Tongue Pop, and I don't know if I put Candy Floss on, uh, Candy Floss on. But yeah, I used these ones up here. Oh, just look, just look. Oh, they're just so nice. And I've actually played around with Cavity and Coma before. And honestly, I made like a hot pink purple look. Oh, it was so nice. Like, honestly, um, I'll probably uh, recreate it. Maybe I might do a tutorial on it. Um, let me know what you think below. But I just I just love playing around and I, with, you know, with shades and makeup. And I feel like a lot of people will agree with me on that. It's just sometimes nice if you're having a low day, you know, just sit in front of the mirror, get out of palette, choose, choose anything, go out your comfort zone, go bold, because, you know, right now, you know, it's kind of semi-lockdown here in the UK. Uh, and I mean, there's been a lot of, like, posts out there of people playing with makeup, and it's such a nice thing to do. You know, if you're a creative person and you like pushing your boundaries, you like creating looks, you know how to do makeup, or if you don't know how to do makeup and you want to do that, then it's such a good way to learn. Like, I'm self-taught, um, and I know I'm not, like, the best person at doing makeup, but if I put my mind to it, and if I, you know, carry on and carry on, I'll improve. Like, just like everything, you improve with time, with what you learn. Just have a bit of me time, you know, it's really nice. Also, there's something else I bought from Revolution, actually, which came with the Face Fix Mist. Um, and that is these Feed Your Face um, masks. Now, this is from the Jake Jamie collab with Revolution. Uh, and honestly, I used this last night, right? And this is the... Oh, which one is this? This is the Strawberry Donut one? think yeah it must be because it has a donut on the front don't know if you can see but um yeah honestly this one is if uh, like i said i don't know how many times i've mentioned this now in this video i have dry skin sometimes i get like little patches like just here on my cheek um i put this on last night i know it's not a peel off one it's like a moisturizer one and then after the 10 to 15 minutes when you have it on um you kind of massage it into your skin for like 30 seconds and then you wipe it off with um, a flannel. And honestly, I've struggled so much finding masks which help 
my dry skin because I'll use the mask and then that day it's oh it's so nice and then the next day it's just like back to normal and the mask claim that it'll you know work for like a week and you know they guarantee this and this like like I said this isn't a review or anything like that but I would recommend this if you have dry skin uh, and you need to get rid of like dry patches um and it also left my face feeling so soft like i didn't even put moisturizer on afterwards and i usually end up having to put moisturizer on after a face mask because it takes so much hydration and i don't like those type of masks but this one didn't and honestly i'm going to be using this again i'm so glad i purchased that and that was eight pounds I think on the um, Revolution website, or it was £9. I'm not 100% sure, but I'll put the prices in the description box when I go to uh, post this video. And um, I also bought the Feed Your Face Watermelon Mask. Now, I haven't tried this one yet, um, and I'll let you guys know on my Instagram if it's good or not, but it's watermelon, honestly. But for starters, look at that packaging. That's cute. <laughs> I'm all about the aesthetics. And... Um, Honestly, the smell, they've got that down to a T. Like, it smells so refreshing, so hydrating, and that's why it's a hydrating mask. So, I mean, they've done well with that one. I mean, come on, watermelon is just sounds hydrating anyway, doesn't it? Um, and I believe this one, um, I'm not sure if this one is a peel off, um, it doesn't actually say but I will let you guys know when it's so like I said. But honestly, I have high hopes for this one because this one is supposed to fully hydrate your skin. So it's not supposed to take care of like pesky dry patches. It's supposed to take care of just putting all the moisture and locking it into your skin. Oh, and I also forgot to mention that this one has vitamin B in, I think. I'm not 100% sure. But whatever I um, find out, I'm gonna put it all in the description box below um just let you guys know because i don't want to give any false information out there you know um but yeah they're all the products which are new at the moment for me and what i'm really into the only one i can think of is one of jeffree star's highlighters and it's the diamond wet one i don't know if you can see that yeah and it's the from the supreme frost collection and honestly I'm wearing it now, I don't know if you can see, just here, but honestly, like, you don't even need that much, honestly, like, oh, it's so soft, and I don't know if this will work, but can you see that? Like, just, honestly, oh, his highlighters, though, are just, everyone knows that they're just they're not for the uh people who don't like a lot and i think this one is glitter based just because when i've just tried to take it off my skin it's very glittery um but honestly i love it i'll wear it out clubbing i will wear it right now uh i'll honestly i don't care if i don't have anywhere to go i'll just put it on but I'll, I'll put it on um just my bare face without foundation honestly it just kind of gives you like that natural dewy look um, but like I said, this one I think is glitter based, but it's suitable for skin tones like mine. Like I'm not really white and fair. Uh, the light probably doesn't help, but I'd probably say like I'm a medium skin tone, maybe to fair slash light. I'm not very pale though, but I feel like it suits people with my type of skin colour. Um, if that helps, or if you're thinking about buying one, I would highly suggest picking a shade which you know you're going to like. Um, purely because obviously you don't want to get one too dark because it might form a cast on your face um but honestly if you want it for your eyelids i'd just say go for it you know you only live once um but yeah i feel that i feel like that's gonna do it for this video i hope you enjoyed the video and i hope that you want to subscribe more ch <laughs> more things will be coming and like i said I, i've already said in the beginning of the video what my channel is going to be about and I hope you'll stick around and follow me on this journey because this is my first video after all. Apologies for the background and everything because I haven't bought all the stuff yet to make it look more professional. But, you know, 
it will do. Um, I'll hopefully see you in the next one.